YouTube, 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 never fear, Logan JC, I'm back with another sneaker review. Today I bring you a pickup, didn't get for retail, went and paid a little extra, and um, here we are. And let's get into the review. You got your black and red Air Jordan 1 box. Here's your tag right there, Air Jordan 1 Low OG, in orange, black, and white, style code. CZ079080101. Made in China. Retail 130. And top of the box, you got your stamp right there in red. No sticker action, just got your regular tissue paper in there. That's it. And here we are. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Another fire Air Jordan one done by Nike and Jordan brand. Um, I actually like this style swoosh. It's more, um, you know, with the Air Jordan one uh, highs, they're more proportionate. It just looks a lot just cleaner. The OG styles were a little thicker and fatter, and um, but this one just goes perfect. And they cleaned up a little bit on the eye stays as well. Everything just looks a little bit better. I love that they went in and they did it up. They didn't go too much. It still keeps in line of the Air Jordan 1 Low G. So, but, um, yeah. Here you go with your orange outsole here. You got your Nike and your swoosh right there. You got your white midsole, white stitching going on right there. You got... The whole upper is of smooth leather, very soft, similar to the Air Jordan 1 neutral gray lows. Um, just just plush. I just love the feeling of this. Um, I'm thinking about uh, possibly doubling up on these. These are fire. Um, prices are not too bad right now. Um, but these will... Man. Um, yeah. Let's keep it moving so um it's all leather upper like i said on your mudguard area you got this uh, orange and it doesn't say starfish i don't know if people are saying starfish but on the box it says um orange so you got orange going up throughout on your eye stays and towards the heel you got your white leather to, um right here you got your perforations you got your white nylon tongue there white smooth leather as i said before on the side panels there you got your black swoosh your black air jordan wings logo there black laces um you got additional sets of laces here you got additional orange and a white set right here at the top of the tongue you have this uh orange and white Nike Air tag there. Back of the tongue as well as orange and white. It's your lettering there. Uh, sock liner is this orange. Insole is white and you got your Nike Air lettering in orange there. That's a sneaker really quick. Fire sneaker. Uh, must have for me. Um, I remember when the, um, the reverse shattered backboards came out. Um, I, I still was feeling some type of way with the uh the first one that came out um wasn't feeling the theme um i agreed with it on the the 3.0 that came out two years ago and um since i since then i've kind of like regretted that i did that but i wasn't really feeling it at the time so now if they release i'll go back and um i'll be picking those up the 1.0 and 2.0 uh, shattered backboards. Um, but yeah, um, at first I didn't feel it. So, but um, as far as these being um, shattered backboard, it's because it's very close to that uh, that 2.0. That one has a sail. This one has a white upper. But you know what it is. It's the same vibe. It doesn't have nothing in the insole. And um, same thing with the. 
uh, 3.0s. There's nothing in there but these that are possibly considered the 4.0 version. I'll show you really quick and compare the oranges. Um, not going to pull out the, um, the 3.0s because it's not, uh, it, it's a patent leather. So uh, this is more uh, two with the outsole. Uh, the other ones have uh, sale outsole, vanilla they call it. So you, as you can see the difference is here on the orange. You got your electro orange and your orange here. It's a lot brighter, a lot, little, little duller here. And um, you can see the brightness of the electro orange to the regular orange here. And uh, you know, you got your white there. So, but, uh, but yeah. Really like what they did with these. Very happy with these. And um, thinking about um, possibly doubling up. This is a fire sneaker. Um, yeah, great job. Uh, I love that um, they, they keep uh, dropping the Air Jordan 1 low OG. And just that, that swoosh right there. Um, I wanted the, the Travis's. Uh, thought about um copping them and then i said no um and uh, decided to get other pairs instead because um just for the one sneaker and two i'm hearing that he's going to release two more next year so we'll see if that's true there's always rumors of this and that um it's very likely he's trying to just keep it going with that keep pushing it and if there's uh travis uh low g's more than likely we'll be getting another you know low g um for retail and hopefully they make enough pairs so the prices if you uh, miss out at retail they're not too crazy say um how the retail uh the resale was immediately after they released for the mochas um the unc ones that released earlier this year the uh the hyper um uh, blue um that released earlier this year they all were crazy amount of resale they shouldn't have been up that high for whatever reason they stayed there and that's what it is now same thing could have been said for these and luckily it didn't and you know you know anybody's trying to get a pair um this is a a reasonable price even though it's like they, they you're you're paying like over a hundred dollars retail over retail so um on some depending on where you get them from and uh hopefully he stays there for a little bit so people can um get their pairs that really want them you know sucks that we even got to pay resale but it is what it is man but um yeah really like the sneaker fire so yeah i'm about to try for the uh the, the prototypes um i really like that sneaker i like the whole you know uh, color block on the upper just very different it um when i saw it it reminded me of the um the biohacks basically like a 2.0 they released actually around this time last year so that's why it gave me that vibe and it's like more of like a back to school sneaker where you could wear just anything with it like you know all those colors and stuff and then they got like um i wouldn't say it's a 3.0 but they're coming out in uh december and it's got a whole bunch of other colors as well um, but this one, the the prototype is its own sneakers separate from the biohack, but it just gives me like a biohack 2.0 feel. And um, you got the you got your lace swap with the orange laces that make them pop. I just really like that sneaker, and hopefully I'm able to um, pick them up right now in a couple minutes. So I'm gonna be trying. But yeah, YouTube, it's your boy Logan J. I hope you enjoyed the review, and I'm signing out. Peace.